Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of SQL Server. So in this video, we are going to solve a question which is mostly asked by Facebook during SQL interview question. So let's get into it. So we have question here, popularity of hack. So Facebook has developed a new programming language called hack to measure the popularity of hack. They ran a survey with their employees. So the survey included data on previous programming, familiarity, as well as the number of years of experience, age, gender, and most importantly, satisfaction with hack. So due to an error location data was not collected, but your supervisor demands a report showing average popularity of hack. So we need to find the average popularity of the hack per office location. So we need to output the location along with the average popularity. So let's see the data. So here we have two tables, Facebook hack survey and Facebook employees. So we'll run this code real quick. So in our Facebook hack survey, we have employee ID, age, gender and popularity of that particular course. So in our another table, Facebook employees, we have employee related data like ID, location, age, gender and is senior or not. So what is the requirement here? We need to find the popularity of this course by location so in order to find that popularity we need to join these two tables so for that we will use left join so without doing any further delay let's get into it so we will write select command select so what we need from here we need location from our second table and popularity from our facebook hack server table so we need location from Facebook employee. So we will give it an alias E and then our second table is Facebook hack survey. So let's join Facebook hack survey and we will give it an alias. So we are joining it on the basis of employee ID. So in employee table, we have ID and in Facebook hack survey, we have employee ID. So on E dot ID equals H dot employee ID. So now we have joined our table. Now what we need? We need location and the popularity. So this location column is coming from our employee table. So we'll write E dot location. And then our second column, which is popularity is coming from Facebook hack hex survey so h dot popularity okay so let's run this code first now as you can see we have location and popularity as well now our second step will be we need to perform aggregation on popularity so we need to find the average popularity of the head so what we will do here we will apply average aggregation function here so we will use average of popularity as popularity okay and after that since we are using aggregation function we need to group it by location so we will use group by location okay let's run this code now, as you can see, it has aggregated our data for each location. So in India, we have the highest popularity. Then in Switzerland, it seems it is not that popular in this country. And then in UK, uh, it is 4.3 and in USA, it is 4.6. Now, if we want to round this number, so we will use round function for that. So round. So we need to round it to one decimal. So we will write one here. And then we'll run this code again. Okay. So now as you can see that our popularity number has been rounded up to 1. So. So our second question is bikes last used. So in this question we need to find the last time each bike was in use. So we need to output both the bike number and the date timestamp of the bikes last use which means the date time the bike was returned and we need to order the result by bikes that were most recently used. So let's see the data. 
so here we have duration duration second start time start station and then end time and end station so we need to find the last time each bike was in use so for that we will use end time so what we need to output here bike number and the date time stamp of the bike last use so select from our table name is dc bike share and now what we need from here we need bike number and the second thing we need here is max of our end time which means the last time our bike was in use so we will use max and then max of end time max of end time as last used okay and now since we are performing aggregation function here on end time we need to group it by bike number so group by bike number so let's run this code so now we have got bike number and the last time each bike was in use so we have already output the bike number and last used and after that we need to order our result by bikes that were most recently used so what we will do here order by so order by last used in descending order so we need to order the results by bikes that were most recently used so for that we will write order by our last used which is date column in descending order so we will run this and now as you can see we have got the bike number column by the bikes that were most recently used so hope you have enjoyed this video thank you for watching